Hello there, my name is Maradi, and I'm going to give you a quick rundown today of what we have here and what I've kind of completed so far. So, what we have here is a 3D printed chassis. It's incredibly strong, incredibly light, and made of filamentium pli sorry, PLA crystal clear. This stuff is fantastic and it gives a wonderful clear result as you can see. This can be finished further with sanding and also having an extra layer of epoxy or something similar over the top. But for this design, actually, I quite like how it diffuses the light. So, what we have here is the shell here, designed by myself, and inside of it we have all of these LEDs. Now, these LEDs can be individually addressed and are controlled by a fade candy board, which is sitting somewhere in here, you can probably see it through the gap, uh, and a massive net of wires, which is supposed to be loose so that I can wire it up properly at a future date. This is just a test rig. So again, the LEDs are being controlled by the Fade Candy board, and that gets plugged in via USB to my laptop. This will be finally a Raspberry Pi, but for now and testing purposes, my laptop will do. Power supply-wise, this is powered by a lithium phosphor iron battery, which we can see back here, uh, connected up to a small UBEC to get it down to 5 volts, uh, which drives the entire head. Now, I've written some software here to clamp the power consumption down to a nice... Uh, I think it's 10 amps, but I think this is currently running at about 2 amps. So even at 2 amps and in br bright light above, it's still perfectly reasonable to see. And we can even turn that off and you can see it does the whole Christmas tree effect. By the way, this is just a random pattern, but each of these LEDs can be addressed individually. So I can change any kind of aspect of the, uh, of the lighting. So for instance, if we go here, uh, and I'm just going to quickly change some things in the code. So if we hash that out and save it, close it, and bring it back up. So now I can get all the LEDs to go the same colour as you can see they do. There's a few problems up here, but I'm dealing with that. So we can see here we've got a nice cool blue going through to green and amber, and just doing a random selection of colours. Uh, that about wraps it up, and I'll be doing more work on this over the next couple of months. And if anyone does notice the strips with different brightnesses, I'm working on it. That's all in the pipeline. Anyway, really happy with the work so far. Thank you so much for everyone who's following along with this project, and I'll keep you all updated with any progress. All the best. Marity, out.